Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to jump right into a general reading for you today. What advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Virgo. Okay, we will lay out the tarot and we're going to pull a Moonology manifestation card here. These have already been shuffled, so we will just cut these. And if you don't mind hitting the like button, I sure do appreciate it. Then people will see the reading. I like this one a lot. We'll talk about it in just a minute. You've got the Hanged Man. The Four of Pentacles, time to see something in a new way. The Chariot, that should help. And the Six of Swords, moving on here, I feel. So you've got the Four of Wands, I love that card. The Moon showing up, the Seven of Cups. You're going to have some choices to make. And some of it may be an ending that you put, that you choose, but I feel like it's going to be in the balls in your court. Endings are new beginnings in the tarot. So if there's something that just exhausts you, and it, or if it's a money drain, and you may for somebody you may go through your bills and realize where you may be hemorrhaging a bit of money, financial. I don't know why, but this is goes with the moon. Something about this, the moon comes before the sun. I just felt like I saw it and I wanted to take it. So you've got great cards here anyway. So now we technically have four major arcana. But when the moon shows up with the sun, because there are 78 cards here and they are in order, the moon always mirrors the sun, but the moon is that, that card that comes before the dawn of the new day, okay? It's darkest before the dawn. So if there's something here, again, that you need to see, you're going to see it. How about we put those back where they came from? All right, so you have here new moon in Pisces, a tune to the divine so meditate quiet the mind open yourself up wide okay go down deep in the stillness of your soul and i'll tell you what you might not get the answers right then and there i never do but they will come and they will come afterwards in the in the ways that it's like they're what seem to be random times but you'll get the best ideas or you'll have clarity in a moment where you had confusion and you'll see things differently more clearly so we like this guy. The energy of the hangman brings in a new perspective on something. And I'm telling you what, there's something with this, okay, which I hope they don't make this the thumbnail, which I can override it. But, you know, wouldn't everybody want to see this in there? <laughs> actually, though, it's actually okay because it's saying you're moving on. I get this big time. So for some, it may be in a financial sense of there's something that's been a bit of a money drain. And it may even be things, too. Um, you know, like gym memberships and things like that. Not that you don't go to the go to a gym, but you may decide, hey, I don't want to spend four thousand dollars a year on this. Or there's something even with a car here. If there's money being spent, and you go, this damn car is like there's oil leaks and there's this and there's that, and I'm you know, it's just not becoming. It's just not that free car to drive around anymore. It may be that epiphany, that aha moment. But I do feel like somebody, if there's been something that's confounded you or you're saying, I really want this year to be the year where I get some things together, this will this is exactly what this will do. Now, I do get, though, with the relationship here with that Ten of Swords, you also may have if there's a friend who's been a real drain. I don't see it as much in a love interest. You actually have a wedding showing up here. So it, or even if there's been a little bit of tension in a relationship that you're in already, this may help you see your partner in a new light from a new new set of eyes is what this will do with you. It's that aha waking up moment, that epiphany. And when we say waking up, it's like your soul is waking up. Your soul is coming to the surface. So you're so much more in attunement with the divine when we can get into this position. Now, the numbers four are often associated. So for somebody, I feel like the next four weeks, you may have a spiritual awakening and we don't poo poo those. Sometimes the waking up can be painful when we've been asleep in our own lives for a while and we become a bit more like a human doing, right? Wayne Dyer talked a lot about that and wrote a lot about it. And being in the place of being a human being, your life will change. I've seen many, many testaments or testimonies about that exact thing. 
that when you change, the things around you will change. You just wait and see. So with this Four of Pentacles, I do feel like somebody here is going to wise up about money a bit. And it, this is not a lack card as much as it's more of an awareness card. Wherever it is that money has been seeping out, you may find that you're a little more diligent at the store. You may even find, too, that you buy things that are pre-cut and pre-readied. If you're busy and you say, I'm throwing out all this produce because I don't wash it and then I get home and I don't feel like washing it after work and dealing with it then. And you know what it does when you wash it and just let it sit there. So I do feel like somebody here, you may start to opt for things that normally would seem like they're more expensive, but then you actually use them. I also feel like too, if somebody here is doing some kind of a health thing, like an intermittent fasting type of thing, or you're, and I'm, this is not, I'm not a dietitian, okay? So don't take your advice from me. Personally, I'm just saying what I get. Um, you, again, check with a doctor before you do anything health-wise. But either way, I feel like somebody here, you're going to find that you're actually spending less on food because you're eating less frequently. So you're not buying as much stuff because you're not needing all these snacks and things like that throughout the day. So I do feel like somebody here, and you're going to stick to your guns on this, Virgo. Whoever's doing this, it's like try to get those pentacles out of Virgo's grip. You're not going to be able to do it. I feel like your mind is made up on something, which is kind of contradictory to this, but it feels like this is more financial or your body. Whatever it is that you've committed to here, I do see you as seeing it through. Okay, so this may be an ending, but it's a new beginning in a chapter of your life that I feel is going to be success. So with the chariot here, this is when your life is going to expand. And again, like I said, there's some almost contradictory things with that four of pentacles. But I do feel like with this, this also, if you're making some adjustments in your finances, how you spend money, it is going to pay off because this is a card of travel. It's a card of expansion. It's getting out and exploring. You might also find too... Those of you that are focused on the physical body that you get out and do different things, different activities, where you it could be group fitness type of activities or it could be hiking or walking or getting out into the area where I feel like you're also going to use your time differently. Now, in terms of a job, because you do have moving forward here, I feel like somebody here may get a promotion. I also want to tell you, though, when we talked about if there's something that has been draining you financially, I feel like here's the turning point, again, where you're going to have something better come in. But if it is something to do with a job, there may also be something with a vehicle involved with it. So either it could be mileage reimbursement, it could be. But I just feel like, or if there's training involved, I do feel like if it's out of town, they're going to compensate you down to every stick of gum you buy in the airport. Whatever it is, you're going to feel this energy of success so the chariot helps you not only expand your life and explore, um, but it has you charging ahead. I mean, that's what this will really do. You have moving ahead here, too. Both of these are travel cards, too, by the way. So as we mentioned before, if you tighten down the wallet a bit in some other areas, I feel like it translates into things like more travel opportunities, having more money to go out and do things and do things that you want. And I also want to tell you, too, if you have a destination wedding, coming in here if that's what this is about and you're saying yeah we're trying to get married and we're being smarter financially because we don't want to be in debt or it's like we're trying to get a house whatever it is you're moving ahead and you know what with the sun everything shines in the sun okay it's the illumination of what you need to know right here and right now now if you're single you have an important encounter coming in here with somebody who's represented by this chariot energy and it is somebody who is going to be very easy to talk to, straightforward as far as like their goals and things that they want to do in their life. They may share those early, early on so that you're not getting into a relationship and saying, oh, God, they love skiing. I hate the snow or, you know, they love the beach. Oh, I'm allergic to sand. You know, that sort of thing. You won't have that because I feel like there's this sort of open book feeling with them. Very much open book up front. And I do feel like travel is a big part of your reading here. Moving and traveling are a big piece of this. So with the Six of Swords, again, in the, um, I know I haven't looked at this thing in decades, but the what I recall from it, the little guidebook that comes with this deck, I believe when you get this card, it says something like, aren't you lucky? 
because they see it as a card or symbol of travel, but it is also mo moving on emotionally. And so I do feel like if you had some feelings of guilt about your spending habits and feelings of, oh God, I could add so much more money if I would have just you know what, you're going to move on from that because it just doesn't serve you. It's not giving you more money and it can't even slow down your vibration. So I feel like what's done is done. And as you move into 2024, you're going to live that way. Kind of like what's done is done. I also feel like too, you may find opportunities to bring in more money as well. And so there may be things to sell if you've accumulated a lot of stuff where you look around and say, I should you know, or you find in your algorithm, all of a sudden ways start showing up in your algorithm. Isn't that the most curious thing? It's like, how do they find us? But they do. And so with the six of swords, you're definitely moving forward. Now I will say too, if you had an issue with a partner, like a relationship and it's them that had some challenges financially and you're supporting them through some financial issues, whether it was student loans that were more than they realized or a high interest rate loan or something that they did maybe even when they were younger. I do feel like that support, you're going to make it through this period and make it into something that's going to be a whole lot smoother, especially too, if it has this feeling of like, this is holding us back from what we really want to do. Because with the four of wands, you do have this being delivered from a walled off city. They're in celebration because they're free. So whatever it is that's holding you back, you have freedom from bondage here. And this Four of Wands is a card of great synchronicities, this 1111 card. You have too with the um, energy of the chariot, the, the castles in the background. There are very few cards that have castles in them, but when you see them, they represent prosperity and abundance. They represent true success. So in terms of a relationship, you do have a you have a true partner coming in here. And you have a few cards here that represent very solid partnerships and where you can be open, you can be transparent. You don't have to hide a thing here. It's like you're able to be yourself and come as you are. And again, if there are some debts, I mean, nobody really likes to get into that right from the jump, but I do feel like it's going to be something where there's no hidden secrets because that would make it worse anyway, finding that out later about somebody that they had some debt that they didn't disclose. That can be a huge problem. So I do feel like with this, you're going to move forward in a way and it feels like a light, a load is being lifted off of your shoulders. So the moon, there's more than meets the eye. There's things going on behind the scenes here that are working. The universe is conspiring with you to bring you through this and to bring you back onto solid ground here. And so it's, it's interesting because the chariot has a river running behind it. It's hard to see kind of, but... It's that pool of consciousness. It's flowing through the energy of the chariot and it's flowing here. So you have quite a bit of water in the reading, which indicates emotions. It indicates navigating hard emotions, difficult emotions, but then getting yourself into the place of understanding those emotions so that you're not living under them. You're, they're just part of a guidance system. So with this, I do feel like information is going to come out and it's going to help you to make decisions for yourself financially. And if there is something with work here in terms of a change with the chariot and the moon here, again, there may be more than meets the eye, but I feel like in this case, it's something beneficial where it'll be an info, it'll be information that they may not have known they could offer you. And then it comes up and it's like, there's even more to this story here, more to the offer, especially when you have the sun here. It's victory, success, and it really is starting in that new place of saying, this is uh, this is exactly where I wanted it to land, right here. So the Seven of Cups brings in some choices for you. But I feel like in this reading, it really is about just making the choice that is speaks to you the most, the clearest. Now, for some, again, you've got this uncanny sense of being able to turn away things that are not for you. I just don't see that being a problem for you at all. So with the Seven of Cups here, if there are certain things that would have tempted you, maybe those little dollar bins. I know I've reached in there a time or two. And then you end up throwing the stuff away because it's dollar stuff. It's not, just not the greatest. So I feel like that kind of stuff, you're not going to be fall prey to things that are just not worth anything. You know, they're not valuable. I mean, I still like the Dollar Tree occasionally, but 
I mean, I'm not going to lie. Of course I do. Doesn't everyone? Um, but I do feel like stuff that you know you don't need, you just won't, won't participate in it. So you have a new beginning. That's what this indicates. So with this Ten of Swords, you let go of something that is no longer. But again, I feel like it's more the ending, ending is more coming from you. Something that you're driving forward there, Virgo. So let's see here what the angels want to tell you. What else does Virgo need to know? All right, messages for Virgo, please. Whoops, you know what? We're going to take this out because it just wanted to come out. I didn't know what it said, but I could just, it was just flipping out. Okay, what else? You have here romance coming in. So maybe all that focus on money, they're like, hey, there's more to the story here. If you believe, ask, believe, receive, and you got... Let go, let it go and let it flow. So I'm telling you what, anything you feel like you need to let go of, you are ready to do it. You got everything you need and you've got a yes. So good things are on the way for you, Virgo. I love you and I'll be back again soon.